In this lesson, we're going to add in the code that's going to enable the player to move the hook towards the bottom of the screen and then have the hook return back to the top of the screen. But before we do that, let's just take a look at a glitch that might be happening in your game. See, when we start our game, we can move our hook and our rope from left to right, but notice that the hook trails behind a little bit. Now let's just fix this code, uh, fix this glitch before we do anything else. It's a very simple fix. All you need to do is head to the looks tab, then towards the bo bottom, find the piece that reads go to front. Click and drag that piece right to the top of your piece of code that you have for the rope. So it should be placed directly beneath the when green flag click piece. Okay. Now we can click on the green flag to start the game again and that glitch should be resolved. Now the hook and the rope should move simultaneously. Perfect. Now let's add in the code that's going to enable the player to move the hook towards the bottom of the screen. So we're going to head to the control tab and we're going to add in another if piece. Place it beneath the previous two if pieces. Then we're going to go to the sensing tab and we're going to add in a key space pressed key. But this time we're going to leave it word key space pressed. We're not going to change the, the key. Now we're going to go to the control tab and we're going to get a repeat until piece. And we're going to place it inside the if piece. Then we're going to go to the green operators tab. And we're going to grab a less than piece. So click it and place it inside the green, uh, the, the diamond shape of the repeat until piece. All right, then we're going to head to the motion tab and the second last piece all the way towards the bottom it reads Y position and it's the shape of a little oval. Click on this piece and place it inside the first square of the less than piece. And in the second square click and type in minus 140. And then finally add in a change Y by 10 piece. So click it and place it inside the repeat until piece. And then change the number 10 to read minus 10. Okay, now let's test this piece of code. So click on the green flag to start your game. Hit spacebar. And perfect. So our hook moves towards the bottom of the screen but then it gets stuck there. It doesn't return back to the top. So let's add in the code that will fix that. So we're going to go back to the control tab and we're going to grab another repeat until piece. And we're going to place it directly beneath the first repeat until piece, still inside the if key space pressed piece. So we're going to go back to the operators tab but this time we're going to add in a greater than piece. So click it and place it inside the diamond shape. Then we're going to go back to motion. And in the first square, we're going to place another Y position piece. But this time we're going to type in the number 150 in the second piece. And then finally, add in the change Y by 10 piece. So click that, drag it and place it inside the repeat until piece. Now let's click on the green flag to start the game. Now if we hit spacebar, perfect. It works perfectly. So we can move our hook from left to right. And then we can hit spacebar and have the hook plunge towards the bottom of the screen and then bounce back.